thunder. The thunder you feel is not from the sky. It's from your heart. That first moment, that flash bulb popping, that rolling down the power window, and feeling the cool breeze in your face. No more trickery or flattery or anonymity. You are a police. As emerging emergencies extrapolate from the mud and fire that tragedy is baked in, you are propelled. No cape or magic suit or alien power, no secret formula or spider bite or radioactive isotope, yet somehow still superhero. Standing in harm's way, the last wall, the true challenger, the light and justice, risking it all for those whose names escape you because after all, they are strangers. The media shotgun blasts you from all sides and rules pile up like shell casings. The screaming insanity of horrible moments echoes in your dreams. No one told you they would chip your soul, sharpening the flint knife of your heart for a while and then breaking it forever. No one told you about the reek and taste and permeation of the street. Once again, though, that's why superhero fits. Dancing in places where shadows reign and pushing back the nightmares that forever refrain in darkened alleys and shopping malls, in bathroom taverns and smoke-filled pool halls. Evil runs from you with feet on fire and somehow you go home and kiss your family. Don't ever sell short the hero in you. Don't let skepticism take any part of you. Don't let the naysayers try and rule. It's not the critic that counts, it's true. An ode for a police is a sad and triumphant and finally joyous tale about courage and bravery and the permanency of goodness. It is the greatest souls in the world we live in, willing to lose it all in the high-speed moments of fear-driven adrenaline that most of the world only lives through TV. Creaking belt and creaking back, body broken from NFL impact, holster with the fire thrower held back as long as possible. Stick and stones do break bones, but a police would rather talk you down. The absolute warrior, the stand-up person, the true superhero doesn't wear a cape at all. It's a badge, a shiny target for the world to either spit on or cherish. Either way, a police remains standing and protecting and beautiful. Thank you. Oftentimes I get asked why enter into a career where oftentimes people of color have had difficult experiences in law enforcement. One of the biggest things that has been impactful with me is that I can change the narrative just one traffic stop at a time, one interaction at a time.